the insolvency bankruptcy code <coughs> is drafted for the purposes of if you see the entire law the object is for the nationalized banks they were having 12 lakh crores at the time of uh, introducing this thing and 8 lakh 20 thousand crores came for resolution and we have lost 7 lakh 50 thousand crores and uh, the object of this code is revival resolution and not liquidation honorable supreme court in swiss ribbons case found that there is no word called li liquidation in the code so the entire code has come into picture for revival of the sick companies only thing is if they are not doing well now and let them do it better you understand today a company is in full losses therefore the value of the company may be zero but if it goes into the good management then it will become it will become big and big that zero will become bigger uh, i mean positively you know satyam computer when that mr ramling raju said that i have forged the accounts and uh, the share price fell to 17 rupees 17 rupees it was sold for a good company of course but it was sold to mahindra tech mahindra and you see the company is grown to such a big level so therefore no loss or profit is notional today therefore that was the premise dr sahu was emphasizing is rightly so you don't go by uh, what is the price haircut and all but you must look into the revivability of these things if it goes it is dead dead body what can you recover but if there is a life you can create better that was a very pure it's a very good objective revival is a very good objective so no doubts and uh, but then what is the trouble why is this again new pack regime is it an incremental concept what was the research done to correct these things this is what any individual right thinking person would like to know and uh, dear friends further to this thing i am identifying um first problem i am not going to give much lecture on this the first problem is this is re regime made, made for recovery now lender lender is the person but who is the lender in our case nationalized banks now the same lender is a private bank like icici bank or a private party they will use this registration and recover all the money if not more money so this legislation is a very good legislation meant for recovery but then uh, who is a failure person person who has failed is now only public sector nationalized banks complete losses so there is some problem with that secondly that one we will address first point nationalized banks are able is a total failure taking huge haircuts how do they work any any regime the top boss is a ed or a md appointed by government and gms always want to become eds this is a particular thing uh, which works for something and there is no accountability to these bankers there is no accountability to the bankers public sector i am not saying all but then 90% of the bankers are honest they won't take money i have seen it because we were auditors but but then what is the problem what is the problem if you are honest also you pressure is put on you if you are dishonest also nothing will come so the public sector banks cannot be approached in the same way as this and the public sector banks if you take how that functioning takes place they have no responsibility that gm is waiting to prove himself and then become cgm he will go away and uh, four five six they only will be the leaders decision maker in the committee of creditors and in that four banks are there the bank which has higher share that gm will be the calling shots they will talk all honestly that top fellows but then they will 
they are not accountable. First step is, who gave loan? The problem starts by the time in insolvency regime the company comes for admission, nothing is there in the company. Nothing is there in the company, the promoters would have taken all the money. So, the bankers know everything. When the asset is, we'll take an example, the banker is giving a mortgaging the loan, land and all. Mostly they do. By the time it recovers, it won't get even 10% of the money. And that also they won't recover. That also they won't recover. N number of examples are there. This is a game of huge money. Everybody is going for kill. And it is meant for few professionals, lawyers, resolution professionals and top bankers and politicians to make money. I want to, I want to become ED and then uh, my member of parliament uh, or minister will be there. The system is there, minister may be very honest. Nirmala Sitaraman ji is, is a very honest lady. But that is of no use in the system. You alone can be honest and all others are not. What is the use of it? We want an efficient system. We want an efficient system, not a good and honest system, which doesn't work. And that is the real problem we are facing. So, first step is the insolvency regime failed because it has not addressed the mindset of the nationalized bank working. What is the basis on which the banks work? Let us take in the next part of our discussion.